ito yung tinuturo ko lagi. Um, I follow three, uh, what you call this, ito yung parang tatlong signals ko. Um, for newbies, when I teach newbies, I teach four. But number one really is fundamentals. Number one, I only... Hi everyone, and uh, let's all welcome my special guest for this video, si Lloyd Bazaar. No, hello, hi Lloyd. Hello everyone, hello Fitz. Good afternoon to you and all the viewers of the channel. Yeah, so kung nagtataka kayo sino ba itong si Lloyd? No? So Lloyd is a a fellow uh, account user sa eToro no so as you know guys i have an account sa eToro and si Lloyd uh, is also one of the Filipinos who uh, who has an uh, account an active account an active user sa eToro but uh, we'll talk about eToro later let's get to know uh, Lloyd first no so Lloyd taga saan ka ba I'm based in Cebu, Mandawe City, Cebu, right now. Ah, all right. Yeah. So, kaya kami naka video call interview lang, no? Kasi, of course, I'm based in Metro Manila. So, Lloyd, uh, are you a full-time uh, trader, investor, ba? Um, I can say full-time, kasi I check the market every day. Pero hmm. hindi talaga yung kailangan. All of my time is really um, dedicated for watching the stock market, talaga. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ka yung tipong buong araw na sa harap lang ng computer? <laughs> hindi, hindi. <laughs> do you have a day job pa or do you run a, a business offline? Um, yes, meron. Uh, we start, uh, the family uh, has a business and then I am um, I'm managing, um, we're expanding it. So, I'm managing the expansion right now. Ah, and okay. at the same time, every now and then, I have talks about financial literacy and stock market and how to trade. I teach people how ah, to trade. Right. How long have you been trading the stock market? Siguro, tagal-tagal na rin. Trading as a general, uh, I had already exposure before pa. When Bitcoin started mining, para na rin forex yun kasi. Oh, okay. uh, then, um, I was into business before kasi. So, um, yan, yeah, nakakasilip-silip sa trading dati. But when I started working, my business has failed kasi kulang pa ng skills. I realized uh-huh. along the way na ang <laughs> daming skills kailangan. So, I decided to work to learn how to manage a business. So, when I was working... Ayan, um, I shifted to stocks, right? And then, mm-hmm. after that, in the middle, parang nagustuhan ko, parang kaya ko mag-trade. So, I tested it out along the way. That was around six to seven years ago. Um, yan. Ah, alright. So, ano ka? Nag-self-study? Did you attend seminars? Or... Uh, self-study lang, right? There are very many videos sa YouTube kasi. Um, tsaka dito sa Pilipinas, ang, ang hirap, ang mahal pa ng mga seminars noon. I, I agree. So, oh. uh, but I had, I, had, I had a few friends who was able to teach me some. And then, gradually, ako lang talaga. So, <laughs> grabbing grind in, in learning. So, ang daming experiences, uh, losses, and learnings along the way. Until I was able to really make on my make it on my own. Yes. Oh, actually, we have a similar experience. Ako rin eh. Uh, yung basic, pwede namang matutunan. Mm-hmm. Uh, online or book seminars, no? But Tama. yung talagang matutunan mo, it, w- there's no replacement for, there's no substitute for actual experience. Yes. Uh, actual experience. And one thing that uh, our viewers should remember, pagdating sa trading, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, hindi pa sa basta kokopya mo lang yung iba kasi minsan if you're really doing trading kailangan alam mo rin yung personality mo tama, kasi tama. minamatch yung trading strategy sa personality ng tao no so depende talaga sa iyo so today how many hours a day ka nagti-trade or estimate mo actually um i'm a position trader um meaning mm-hmm. yan is nag-aantay lang ako sa mga stocks na gusto ko magbigay mm-hmm. sa akin ng magandang entry so if i yes. find today tignan ko ang market yung mga gusto ko mga companies and then kung wala silang mag wala silang maibigay sa akin na parang position to enter pinapabayaan ko so i don't trade that day so i just That's check right. it again tomorrow if meron man ako makita then papasukin ko then that's it. Once I entered, I just wait for the trade to pan out. And then if I need to sell it, um, tingin-tingin na lang. Oh. So, doesn't really take much of my time. 
Yeah, I think that's a common mistake ng mga baguhan, no? Feeling nila everyday merong pwedeng i-trade, no? So, <laughs> tama, tama. I remember I remember reading parang no position is also a position, di ba? Tama, so, tama. wag mong pilitin kung meron ka talagang uh, trading strategy, you tama. have to be disciplined na i-follow yun. Kung walang binibigay na signal na to buy, tama. Then, wala kang bibilhin, no? Right. So, of course, beyond the Philippine stock, market no uh, you have an account with eToro which yes, was actually gives you gives us access sa mga global stocks no yes, so kailan ka nagsimula sa eToro how did I, you discover eToro yeah i just started last year pero may mga kaibigan ako na nag eToro mm-hmm. pero ang tin ko sa eToro is cuz i trade manually di ba so i checked out yes. there uh, yung mga fees and everything medyo natatakot pa ako kaya natakot akong pumasok kay eToro and then someone uh, someone really told me to check it out right so and i checked it out it panned out to be great and i was testing it out and once i got the groove of it yun sinimulan ko na siyang gamitin and i i shared it to my followers and so far so good it's been doing well really right ang ganda so, ng opportunity ano favorite mong tinitrade or uh, nilalagyan ng ano position sa eToro do you US stocks I, yes I, US I, stocks um inapply ko lang yung basics when i started in the PSE ganun din ang ginawa ko sa international market so i tried Karamihan talaga ni trade ko is blue chips lang muna sa international yes. market. Oh, so same strategy somehow so nung nagsimula ako sa PSE, I applied it in the international market. So karamihan ng tinitrade ko are stocks. Mm, but uh, have you also tried um, sabi mo kanina bit mga cryptocurrencies like yes. Bitcoin, commodities. So ngayon, you try those or you yes. trade those also. Oh, actually, ah. may position ako on a cryptocurrency ngayon, which is Ripple. Then I'm waiting for Bitcoin to give me a, another buy signal before I want to enter again. So if you could, siguro, um, describe in, in a simple way, ano ba yung iyong personal na trading strategy? Ha, ano, sabi mo kanina, position trader ka. So what does that exactly mean for you? No? Ah, um, siguro, I'll start with my strategy. Uh, it's a mix of fundamentals. At ito, ito yung tinuturo ko lagi. Um, I follow three, uh, what you call this, ito yung parang tatlong signals ko. Um, for newbies, when I teach newbies, I teach four. But number one really is fundamentals. Number one, I only trade fundamentally good companies. Why? Because it increases my chances of winning. Because if you think about it, ano ang sa, saan Uh, what do you call this? Saan pwedeng pumunta ang isang magandang kumpanya? Siyempre, up, di ba? So, it yes. increases my chances of winning. So, I only trade with these companies. Fundamentally good companies. Number one yan. As much as possible, hindi hindi ko trade ang mga companies na medyo tagilid ang fundamentals. Because, ayun again, fundamentally good companies has higher chances of going up. Di ba? Number two is the current price of the company. Right? Um, as much as possible, yung companies na maganda pa ang projection na malayo pa maabot nila. Huwag yung mahal na na companies. Because then again, if you think about it, saan, anong cha, uh, uh, those companies na mas ma- maliit, mas mura pa, has higher chances of going up. Compared to companies na mahal na, mas malaki ang chance na bumagsak sa ang mga, um, na mga companies na mahal na. So, That's right. Uh, yeah. So, I, these are my checklist. Fundamentals and then, ayan, yung price niya. Um, it has to be maganda pa ang projection ng isang kompanya bago ko siya papasukin at hindi pa siya mahal. The third is, andyan yung technical analysis because majority kasi ng newbies in, iniisip is te, uh, trading is just about technical analysis. No, yes. pangat, pangatlo ko ng checkmark ang technical analysis. right? Kasi pag maganda ang technical analysis niya and if the technical analysis says, yes, if this is gonna go up, mas malaki ang chances mo na pagpasok mo, aakit ang stocks. So, those are my three um, major check marks na inintay ko bago ko pasukin ng isang um, bago ko pasukin ng isang stock. That's the position I'm looking for. If my if the stock that I'm looking at gives me these three check marks, then that's the position I am uh, I am I'm gonna be uh, wait uh in yun iniintay ko bago ko siya pasukin. Right? Mm-hmm. And then lastly, I always teach the newbies na ito pang apat tingnan niyo kasi ito pahirapan. Uh, the direction of the market, especially sa PSE. Uh, if, yeah. the, if the market is a, is bearish, then 
chances are the stocks are gonna go down. Walang pakialam yung bearish market kung mura na ang kahit pa napakita yes. ng company na yan, right? If the market is bearish, it's gonna go down. So if uh, for if you're a newbie, if you wanna try to trade, make sure you are, you're, you are aggressive at the right time and antay nyo ang bullish market bago, nyo kayo, bago kayo mag-practice mag-trade. So yun po. Those, mm-hmm. That's the position I am looking for. Yeah, I, I I am also trading with the same strategy. Dati pure technical analysis ako eh, no? Uh, oh. Nasanay ako sa forex trading oh. na technical analysis lang madalas ang tinitingnan. Pero um, na-realize ko na minsan may mga fundamental events or mm-hmm. mga economic events na kahit anong itsura ng chart mo, susundin niya yung market sentiment. Tama, no? tama. So it's important na Uh, if you are primary, primarily a technical ana- analysis person, uh, hindi pwedeng completely ignore yung fundamenta. So, kailangan yeah. combination pa rin. No? Uh-huh. Uh, one thing that I've also realized, if you want to be successful at trading, is yung money management. No? I, I, I met a lot of newbies. Talaga nakafocus lang sila sa tec- technical analysis, fundamental analysis, etc. Pero, Kulang sila sa money management. Ikaw ba? How do you practice money management? Yeah. Um, rule number one is manage your risks. Mm. Ganito lang kasi. If I can share my screen, can I share my screen here? Uh, I always, uh, ito yung isang sa mga tinuturo ko. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Taka lang ha. Tipat ko lang ito. Share screen. All right. So, um, let me open up paint. Are you seeing my screen now? Yes. I am seeing your screen. Yan, yan. So, yan. Uh, can you see the white screen now? Yes. Yes. Ganito yan. Um, I always teach this to my students. This is the this is your equilibrium when it comes to trading, right? So there are only five things that can happen to you in a trade, right? Um, it's either mag break even ka. So pag break even ka, walang nangyari sa equilibrium sa pag growth uh, growth or going down ng ng portfolio mo, right? Um, the second thing that can happen to you is either you're gonna win small or lose small mm-hmm. right and the third thing that can happen to you is either you uh ito yung fourth pala fourth thing that can happen to you is either you're gonna win big or you're gonna lose big right now this is very important ito yung risk management ko i never allow myself to lose big why once you avoid just losing big your portfolio will be heavy on the winning side already And mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah, just just managing your risk that way really um, really changes your trading. Yes. Right. Yes. Mas mabigat ka na sa winning side if you just do not allow yourself to lose big. So I really embrace the fact uh, that this practice in trading where you have to manage your risk. If it is hitting your risk plan already, get out of it right away. Never allow yourself uh, your loses to go big. Kasi pag lumaki yan, masisira ang equilibrium ng trading mo. And yan, masisira yung growth ng portfolio mo. Mm-hmm. Uh, madalas ko nga sinasabi sa mga nagpapa, nagtatanong sa akin, uh, if you, before you even enter a position, mm. dapat alam mo na yung exit price mo, di ba? Tama, dapat tama. Ka target mo. profit, meron ka na rin cut loss. Kasi I've seen a lot of newbies, pag nahit na yung, pag bumaba siya, Naghihintay sila, they just hope na aakit pa siya hanggang sa bumaba na bumaba na bumaba. Sobrang laki na nung loss nila. Tama. And I've also met a lot of people na uh, meron silang cut loss price pero biglang na, biglang nagdadalawang isip na mag, mag, ano, no, mag cut loss. So sabi yes, ko, tama. you have to be disciplined. It's part of uh, being a successful trader na... Tama. Sinusunod mo yung strategy mo, hindi pwedeng ano, binabago mo yung strategy mo. Yes. And uh, very important if you're trading pagdating sa mga stocks, no? of course may mga stocks na uh, maganda for trading, may mga stocks na maganda for investing, investing. or long term. No? So mali yung mindset na pag bumaba yung price, ay i-hold ko na lang yan kasi eventually aakit naman yan kasi stocks yan. So that's, uh-huh. that's very wrong because if the company is uh, pang trade uh-huh. usually over the long term sideways or you know, alam mo walang mangyayari dun sa price ng company over the long term because it's primarily at uh, a stock for trading no tama, tama. so 
para sa akin, part din ng money management ko, I don't know if you also do it, is yung risk-reward ratio. No? I make sure yes, na uh. ganda. Uh, hindi lang basta-basta tipong packet yung price, bibili mo na agad. Titignan mo, uh, is the is the target price or the resistance level high enough na pwede niyang ma-offset yung mga ano ko, Tama. yung mga uh, cut loss uh, levels ko. No? So, Tama. ako, I usually go for at least one is to two uh, na uh, reward risk and uh, risk reward ratio no yes. uh, ikaw ba do you do you have like a specific ratio din na sinusunod when you're entering a position actually that's my minimum one is to two then I, huh? I have a youtube video about that risk to reward ratio um but basically what is to two um if we still have time i can i can share to you i can explain here why sige lang mm. Ah, sige. So, I'm gonna share my screen. So, ganito kasi yan. If people are not uh, following any risk plan, for example, kung you're risking, uh, basta ka lang pumasok, hindi mo alam magkano risk mo. If maybe piso ang rinirisk mo, pero hindi mo alam na ang reward pala is piso din lang. ba? Mm-hmm. So, ganito kasi yan. A good trader wins 6 out of 10 times in his trades. Right? Mm-hmm. The good, there's no one perfect in trading. So, yun yung sinasabi ng mga magagaling na traders. If you, if you win 6 out of 10 times of your trade, you're already good. Right? Yeah. So, if we, if, we, if we try to simplify the numbers, that's 3 out of 5. So, we yes. have 5 positions here. Right? So, here, if you win 3 out of 5, which is 6 out of 10, 3 out of 5, mm-hmm. then you're already a good trader here. Right? So, if you're risking 1 peso here, 1 peso here, on all your trades... Yan, piso-piso. And then sa tatlo, nanalo ka ng piso. Right. So, um, this is, at the end of the, the trade, you gain you gain 2 pesos, 2 pesos. Here, here since you lost, negative 1, negative 1, you're 0 here. So, you're basically, you basically won 6 pesos and you risk 5 pesos. Diba? Mm-hmm. Right. So, after the trade, sa 5 mo, naging 6 na piso lang, that's very slow for a trader. Slow, that's yeah. very slow portfolio growth. And this is for a good trader. What if newbie ka pa lang? Eh, hindi ka nagpa-follow. What if newbie ka, talo ka sa tatlo sa limang trades mo, then this is this goes to um this goes to negative and then so ang nangyari sa port mo 4 na lang. Right? This is the reason why newbies portfolio are constantly going down. Lumiliit ng lumiliit. Contrary to if you have at the very least you're very strict in following one is to two like your fits, diba? One is to two yung pinapalo yes. mo. Uh-huh. One is to two risk to reward ratio. Then we have five positions, right? So um, you win three. This is a good trader, and then you lose two. So piso on all these positions, right? And then you win two pesos here because don't you take profits mo? Oi, may risk. Um, magri risk ako ng piso. Tapos yung resistance niya and dun pasad. Um, I can still gain two pesos, so I'm gonna enter this. So yun yung follow mo. If you lose on uh, two of your trades, um, here naging tatlong piso, tatlong piso, tatlong piso. So the money that you risk from five pesos becomes nine pesos. That's very good growth for a trader. Right? right? And then if you're a newbie, look at this. If you just, if you lose one, and if you just follow the risk to reward ratio of one is to two, even if you lose on this trade, so that anim na piso lang, your port still gained. Right? You yes. risk five peso, and because you just follow one is to two, naging anim na piso pa rin ang pera mo for a newbie. So just following this really gives you so much leverage in your growth as a trader. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, mga bagong traders, isa sa mga kalaban nila is yung ego. Feeling nila gusto nila, lagi silang panalo sa mga <laughs> trade nila. But uh, I always remind them yung mga nagtatanong sa akin na, at the end of the day, ang goal mo is to make money. So, Tama. if it means that you have to lose some trades, if it means na kailangan mo mag-cut loss sa ibang trades mo, okay lang yon. And one of the secrets nga to make sure that you will make money is to have a proper uh, money management, risk management, no? Uh, kasama yung risk reward ratio na kung mukhang aakit yung isang stock pero the reward is very small, Yes. Wag mo na, hanap ka na lang ng iba, di ba? Yes. Kasi, w- mm-hmm. ano siya eh, uh, it makes sense to to also, alam mo yun, make sure na 
uh, tatagal yung funds mo, no? Uh, para sa akin na uh, you cannot just trade whatever opportunity na nakita mo minsan. Tama. Uh, hindi naman sa talaga good trade. No. Uh, if it's, it's not better. worth it, then and if it's the reward is not worth it, then don't. Diba? Wag na lang, diba? Ito, I just want to add this up. So, ang kagandahan kasi, if you follow the risk to reward ratio kasi, your your wins are gonna cover for your losses. Nakita nyo yan? Um, That's right. Tinakman niya ng isang trade mo ang losses mo. So, the other two two trades that you won is already gains. That's the beauty of following risk to reward ratio. You won't be afraid to cut your losses since you know that your system is gonna cover up for your losses. Kaya, ito yung problema rin sa mga newbies kaya natatakot sila mag-cut loss. They don't uh-huh. realize na yung wins pala nila sa kabila, tatakpan lang yung losses nila. So, it's really okay to cut your losses because of the risk to reward ratio. Uh, so, ano siya, no? talagang... Uh, meron kang discipline when it comes to trading and uh, para sa akin it's important to write out itong mga personal rules mo when trading so that you will be reminded of it no uh, and uh, of course sa aside from the Philippine Stock Exchange we are both sa eToro mm-hmm. uh, we're in we trade mga global stocks and ako I primarily trade forex no and kaya ako na ito kasi uh, siguro na-realize na rin ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon na newbies na may time na kailangan mo mong i-dedicate to learn, yes. uh, to practice. no But of course, sayang din yung oras and uh, it's something that I want uh, my viewers to learn no? na habang nag-aaral sila, they can actually start making money by particularly sa eToro, by following people no like you. Uh, mm-hmm. You can passively uh, make money by copying the the trades ng mga nasa eToro platform because eToro is primarily a social trading, trading platform. platform. Para sa Facebook pero walang nag-aaway doon tungkol sa politics. No? <laughs> Lahat na discuss about uh, fin- the financial markets. And yes, uh, uh, ikaw, Lloyd, no? uh, ano bang experience mo sa paggamit ng eToro? Uh, yeah. A very first thing that I really notice is, ang problema ko kasi nung nagsimula ako sa stock market is, I don't really have the guidance. I can't, wala akong malapitan gaano na tao na matpagtanungan ko. Diba? And that's the beauty of eToro now uh, because of the social copy trading. Nung nagsimula ako sa international market, I don't really, don't I don't know where to find the uh, researches, yung mga anong sinasabi ng mga analysts. So, because of the social platform, parang naka-hashtag lang yan. So, if I look at uh, Starbucks, I see all the people na nagpo-post about Starbucks and what their posts are. Um, may magandang points doon na, uy, aakit si, baka sabi nila, uy, aakit si Starbucks because of this, because of that. Meron din mga nagpo-point, I think Starbucks is gonna go down because of this and that. And those are very valuable uh, information that you can use on your future trades. And so yeah, that's that's right. the ito yung pinaka priceless para sa akin the social factor of it information is the key because yun yung pinaka mahirap noon sa stock market na noon na wala talaga mapagtanungan about the information on stocks yeah oh, kasi pag nagpost ka sa Facebook ng okay ba bili ng Starbucks ang sasagot sa doon ano ba kape <laughs> diba <laughs> you won't be able to meet uh, like-minded people so of course sa eToro you can have discussions on the financial markets uh, you can actually learn from yung mga top traders doon, no? More often than not, they post their own analysis. And of course, yung mga, ano natin, mga viewers natin, if they'd like to uh, try uh, yung eToro platform, they can of course open an account. Meron silang $100,000 na virtual money, money that they can use to play around. So we'll give you a link. Where you can uh, follow, where you can follow, so that uh, you can have your own account sa eToro. And of course, pwede ka nilang hanapin doon, di ba? Sa yes, uh, eToro, El Bazar, tama ba? Ang yes, yung... El Bazar, ang username ko. Um, mm-hmm. If you search for that, you're gonna search, uh, you're gonna find Lloyd Bazar there. So, ang kagandaan sa eToro is the statistics of the people. So, those who opted to be copied is into uh, nakapublic yan. 
So, hindi lang basta-basta na mga information na kukuha ninyo sa mga tao. You can filter it out from people who really know what they're doing kasi andan yung statistics nila. They've already proven na kaya ni- magaling sila mag-trade. And you ask these people, hindi lang basta-basta lang na nag-claim na marunong sila mag-trade. Oo, oh, dako. Oh, <laughs> Dahil ko namimita ganyan, sinasabi nila, lalo na sa mga Facebook groups, no, na, oy, kumita ko ng ganito kalaki, kumita ko. Pero hindi naman nagpapakita ng... Uh, proof, no? And yeah. sometimes ang pinapakita nilang proof ay yung nag-iisa nilang trade na kumita sila ng malaki. Uh-huh. Pero of course, ang important is yung kanilang historical performance over a certain period of time, which of course, sa uh, eToro, they provide it for all the traders that they have. So guys, if you check out yung profile ni Lloyd, makikita nyo dun yung performance niya over the past several months. And of course, kung gusto niyo yung style ni Lloyd and medyo busy pa kayo, nag-aaral pa kayo on your own or busy kayo sa business niyo or sa trabaho niyo, you can money uh, passively by simply copying yung trades ni Lloyd, no? Automatic 'yun sa eToro, hindi niyo kailangan uh, bantayan basta sa eToro $200 ang minimum to copy a person. To copy trade, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But of course, kung nagsisimula pa lang kayo, you're just trying to learn the ropes uh, within the platform, pwede nyo gamitin yung $100,000 na virtual uh, money ninyo to copy several people, including si Lloyd. Ako, edi yung, uh, pwede kayong kumopya ng mga traders based on their risk profile. No? May mga conservative na traders, yes. may mga medyo moderately aggressive, etc. Ano bang risk score mo ngayon, Lloyd? I'm still at three. Yan. So, three. three. So, sa Itoro kasi guys, merong risk score na 1 to 10. No? So pag 1, medyo conservative. Tapos 10, of course, very high risk. And uh, I believe Itoro allows you to copy people na may risk profile na 6 or six below. Lang. Kasi pag, below. pag 7, medyo high risk na baka ma- mawala kayo ng pera. <laughs> so uh-huh. si Lloyd is, I would say, a moderate a uh, risk investor kasi na number 3 yung kanyang risk score. So anyway, I I guess uh, that's all that uh, we can discuss uh, for today, no? If you like to if you like us to do a part 2 of this interview, uh, then just uh, leave it sa comment section itong video na to. But uh, thank you Lloyd for having the time to talk to me and uh, discuss a little bit about uh, trading, no? So, kung meron kang final piece of advice sa mga newbies natin, ano bang pwede nating take away dito sa video na to? Siguro ganito, um, understand that trading is not easy, but you can be good. Just respect the learning curve. Yan lang. Um, kasi pinapalabas ng mga tao na madali lang stocks. And then when you get in, <laughs> your um sasagasaan ka ng napakahirap na <laughs> na system talaga so as much as possible respect the learning curve it will not be easy kaya po ngayon meron tayong virtual funds so you can practice and then you'll realize along the way that it's not easy so um yung iba learning through experience as much as possible practice lang muna and if you really want to start right away with real money start small right um trading is not easy but once you are good and you can be good um, it's going to be a very good source of income once you already know the ropes around it. Yes. All right. So, thank you, Lloyd. Uh, can you give us yung mga links ng yung mga social accounts where they can follow you? I, I believe you have a YouTube account. So Yes, tama. Um, yeah. Um, thank you then for the opportunity, Fitz. Um, please follow me sa YouTube channel ko, Financial Freedom 101. Um, I also have a Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash financefreedom101. And I run a group uh, for uh, a community in Philippine Stock Exchange, which is the Billionaires Club. You can search for it. All right. So I guess uh, that's it. So guys, I hope may natutunan kayong uh, very useful and valuable dito sa ating video. So please don't forget to share it to your friends and uh, spread the learning. No? So uh, hopefully may part two itong interview natin. So I, I personally have learned a lot. So if you have a specific topics that you would like us to discuss, then you can just uh, leave it in the comment section or send us a message. All right? So I guess that's it. Thank you and uh, bye-bye. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. Thank